Coming up next, the Bucks taking on the Lakers. Well, the Milwaukee Bucks, presently in possession of the seventh spot in the East, a middle of the pack team trying to make that next step. Lakers, Bucks is next. We're back in just a moment. Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Christian Wood. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. The two Lakers stars on the floor, LeBron at the three and Davis at the five. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the four spot. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Holiday and Allen are their guards, and it's Portis in at the five. Hey, Clark, how difficult is it to maintain your energy when we're this deep into the regular season? You know, it's not easy. I think it's really tough and challenging. This is where it becomes much more mental than physical. The mindset has to be right in order to work through those dog days of the season. Go. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. James against Middleton. And there's the pass to Hachimura. Outside, Russell. From downtown. And James with the basket on the assist by Russell. Off the catch, LeBron not lacking confidence or hesitating. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. Back to Middleton. Allen inside. He's guarded by Russell. Takes it down to Middleton. Just five to shoot. Allen's shot is off. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. And he gets it to go. Nice reaction by D'Angelo to the defense sagging back. Just drops in the simple floater there. Middleton left side. LeBron with the block. Outside, Russell. Davis in the corner from deep. Rebound by Drew Holiday. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And when you talk about Giannis's defense, he really has some unique attributes. Boy, does he ever, Greg. I mean, you think about his length, his athleticism, his agility. He's a guy who can defend the ball and the screener almost at the same time because of that great length. So offenses sometimes go away from him in the pick and roll, which allows him to kind of play free safety on that back line as a rim protector. Free throw good. Giannis. Prior to the 2021 season, Clark, the Bucks acquired Drew Holiday in a blockbuster move. And what a move it was. The Bucks went all in. And that holiday trade paid off immediately with the Bucks winning the 21 NBA championship. Their first in 50 years. And so he hits both. 
We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Portis sets the pick for Adetokounmpo over Russell, and that one hits back iron. Los Angeles is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. James, the pass to Reeves. Back to James. No good on that one. Great D that time from Portis. And Middleton kicks to Honda de Kumbo. Back to Middleton. Gets up a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. It's all knotted up. And how smooth is that jumper? Middleton making it look easy from the corner. Hachimura the pass to Reeves. And here's LeBron outside. Another miss by James. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Portis is screen on Russell. Holiday against Russell. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. You know, Giannis wants to get a few steps closer, but he's worked really hard to make this mid-range shot more consistent. Now, here is Russell. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Allen, that's good. And that's unselfish. He's right there. Full display. Giannis wanting to get it to open teammates. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by two. Outside Russell from the arc. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here is Holiday. Nothing on the board. Portis sets the pick for Holiday. Nice shot by Portis. Well-timed play that time by Portis. He's a load coming downhill. Lakers have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. This is it to Hachimura. There's a good screen. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. And the shot goes in. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Russell against Howard. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. It's on D'Angelo Russell. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Grayson Allen. Both free throws good from Holiday. And when we talk about the league's elite defenders, Drew Holiday is certainly up there. Yeah, that's for sure, Greg. I mean, I think it's a lot to do with how much pride he takes in playing defense. I mean, he's locked into shutting down whoever he's defending. He looks at it as a challenge, and I really appreciate and respect his hard-nosed approach. And, man, LeBron's taking things into his own hands with that alley-oop. Really impressive. And Giannis gets it to go. Just
just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Here's Russell following the basket by Giannis. Davis gets a wide open look. Good, and the assist and goes to LeBron. Davis has got five. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been triples. Easily outside. Back to Holiday. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Fifth and fast break points, and they've made a living off of their opponent's mistakes. Top ten in the league in terms of points off turnovers. And up there in the top five in field goal percentage, as you said, a very efficient offense, and it helps that they can drain shots from all over the floor. And the Bucks making a change here. Bo Champs checked in, and Los Angeles making a change here as well. Wood, he's checked in for LeBron. Reeves the pass to Davis. There's the dish to Russell. Pass to Hachimura. No good on the three. The Bucks trail. Giannis outside. Can't hit from 12. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Russell against Beasley. Here's Wood. That one's in his first shot this game. Remember, Wood was an undrafted free agent. He's one tough customer. A little contact, not going to bother him at all. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. Six points for him, and that one is good. And he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Here's Reeves. And it's Davis at the elbow. Shoots over Portis and misses it off the right side of the rim. Milwaukee has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Here's Giannis. That one misses. Davis with some nice deep. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Russell against Beasley. Davis with a screen on Beasley. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Middleton against Hachimura. This one for three. Bangs home the trifecta. And the Lakers lead by five. Just solid with the jump shot. Hachimura helps your offense in a number of ways. In that case, spacing the floor. Portis a screen on Wood. Anacumbo kicks to Portis. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Looking at Milwaukee, they took the win in their last game against the Thunder. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And you know, confidence is key there. They seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. here for the Bucks. Robin Lopez has checked in for Portis. Crowder comes in for Antetokounmpo. 
And it's Drew Holiday in for Chris Middleton. And then for Los Angeles, LeBron's checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for Rui Hachimura. And Vincent subbed in for Austin Reed. left in the first quarter and Bochamp gets it to go and really it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range now here's Prince he averages about uh, five points a game kicks it out to LeBron shot clock at five Banked in off the glass. James. James has got his third basket of the night right there. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Holiday uses the glass to finish the lane. Some nasty handles from Holiday, leaving the defense shaking its head and all. Here's James. Drops in the layup for two. LeBron's got nine. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Easily outside. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Back to Holiday. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Crowder from outside. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. And, you know, this is Drew Holiday's role. He's out there to run the offense and get his guys going. Now, here's LeBron. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. 11 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Would a screen on Crowder. Let's the three fly. LeBron James again from deep. 12 points for him. That's the competitive fire that burns with LeBron James. He's happy to come right back with one of his own. And so it's Los Angeles heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And their three-point shooting has paved the way for them. We'll return shortly. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Just stretching out the floor that first. Uh, they had the defense scrambling. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against it. Bucks trail by seven. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship throughout L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. The guard spots filled by Holiday and Beasley. Jake Crowder out there with Robin Lopez. And it's Bochamp in at the small forward position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Here's LeBron after the basket by Milwaukee. Prince, the pass to Vincent. Russell looking it over. A floater. Here's Wood. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. And they're among the most opportunistic in the league in terms of points off turnovers. Top five in our league. And talking again about their fast break offense, that's a big part of what they do. They like to catch teams off guard, not giving the opposing defense a chance to get set. Radish, he's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. Here's Bochamp, connects from three-point range. 
Bochamp's got his second basket of the night. That was Drew Holiday getting in the way of the defense there. Nicely done. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo could arguably be called the most feared slasher in league history. He says, I just tried to read the crowd, read the walls, and see where I can beat them. There's a second there that you can attack the scene to change your speed. I've done this 25 to 30 times every night, so I know what to look for. Kevin? He definitely does, David. A master at his craft. Hey, DA, thanks for the report. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Vincent's shot is good. Well, that's good work by Prince there, spotting the open man and then putting the ball on target on time right in the shooting box. And it's Beasley finishing it off. That's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. LeBron against Crowder. LeBron can't get it to go. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You gotta appreciate that stop. Out of dishes to Holiday. Pass to Lopez. Easily outside. Bochamp. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Here's Vincent. Guarded by Holiday. There's a screen. Crowder against James. Back to Vincent. Stolen by Holiday. Now well, about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Outside Crowder lets it go with a three. It's hauled in by Wood. The Lakers in the lead. Up top Reddish for by Beasley. Beyond the arc. LeBron, no good. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Kicks it out to Beasley. Tries again. Good as the jump shot falls. Beasley's got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Getting shots in the spots he likes. That's exactly what Beasley looks to do. Vincent the pass to Prince. There's the pick. Back to Vincent. Wood is green on Holland. Vincent's shot is Vincent. good. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. And here is James after the three-pointer from Jay Crowder. James down the lane. And the dunk by LeBron. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight. Keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. That's right, everybody. It's now time for your box breaker crew. here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is checked in for Wood. Hachimura comes in for Prince. 
Austin Reeves is checked in for Reddish. And it's Russell in for Vincent. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Only given up six here in this quarter. Allen for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Allen's got the lead up to two now for Milwaukee. And there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Back to James. Here's Reeves. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Lock at six. Davis sets a screen. Deep two from Russell. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Russell's got ten. Man, what a nice read, boy. Exquisite, perfect timing by D'Angelo off the pick and roll. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. The Lakers with the ball. Following the three-pointer by Chris Middleton. LeBron kicks to Russell. Reeves the pass to Davis. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. Over Holiday. Russell from long range. Rebounded by Allen. Bucks leading by three. Dishes of Giannis. Crowder is screen on Davis. Giannis passes to Crowder. Allen against Russell. Here's Crowder. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at high. The pass to James. Misses the three. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Pass to Giannis. Down low. Kicks it out to Allen. Launches it. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And please give up a big round of applause for your costume dancing. Check in. Milwaukee, let's hear it one more time for your young bucks dancers. Here's Russell. Ten points for him. He kicks it to Davis. Here's Wood. Pass to Reeves. 
trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Over Giannis. They need this, and it's Davis laying it in. Davis has got seven points in the game. What determination on the boards. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. Now here's Allen. Nine points in the game so far. And they double up Giannis. Outside Crowder, four on the shot clock. Giannis, that's a two-pointer. That's good on the jump shot. And the Kubo's got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. You see improvement from Giannis every season in his decision making, especially recognizing when to rise and fire. Reeves the pass to Russell from outside the arc. Milwaukee with the rebound. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Well, they were on the wrong side of a very close matchup last time they met. But what a great game. And, and that game you mentioned, it was a great game. The reserves played a huge role. Lakers trail by eight. Davis down low, working on Allen. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Russell. Russell's got five assists in the game. Just to crowd it. And here's Beeson. Three-pointer. And Davis pulls it down. And out of bounds as the Bucs gain possession. Playing as a team so crucial. Let's see the NBA's best. Fourth spot held by the Lakers. And, and you know, when your team has a lot of assists, it's testimony to the unselfishness, the, the patience, the ball movement, the player movement. They have shown all of that. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucs. Bobby Portis has checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Holiday in for Malik Beasley. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Man, Giannis with a nice touch. Oh, great ball movement there. Lakers trail by eight. Here's Reeves. Would a screen on Hollywood. Portis against Russell. Six to shoot. Lakers looking the ball around now. Takes the three. A rebound by the Bucks to the inside. Crowder and Crowder brings it in. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man and found him perfect. The pass to Wood to the middle, and there's another turnover by the Lakers. Chris Middleton's checked in for Crowder. The Lakers also with a sub. Prince has checked in for Christian Wood. Twenty-six seconds left in the first half. Ante Takumbo looking it over. Powers through inside. Giannis. Amazing to watch Ante Takumbo will these shots in. Refusing to concede to the defense. To the paint. Here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Davis. Russell's got six assists in the game. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. And so it's Milwaukee going into the break with a 10-point lead. Trailing to start the quarter, they battled hard and pulled off a tremendous comeback. Now enjoying the lead. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops, and, uh, getting rebound, getting out of pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Thanks for tuning in. We love the mountain climbing, don't we? 
Well, there's a huge mountain to climb for the Los Angeles Lakers. Everyone knew coming in that they were facing knockdown shooters. Can somebody tell their defense that? I mean, my goodness, how many open threes are you going to give this team, Shaq? Uh, a lot if you're not going to guard somebody. And now, as the season winds down, a look at the Western Conference picture. You take a look at the Lakers. They've been phenomenal. All the lofty predictions, the expectations, they've all come true. Now comes the hardest part, the postseason. Every team is going to be gunning for them. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. If you look at Enetokounmpo in this one, he's been everywhere. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what, I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Checking out the group now for Darvin Ham to start the second half. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. LeBron is in the good, another from three. And for this franchise now, he's hit the most threes in a single season. His incredible range stretches out the defense on a nightly basis. It's an invaluable element to this offense. Passes to Portis. Over Davis. Portis can't get it to go. Lakers trail by seven. You know Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop, he can pick and roll, he can post up. He off can do everything reads. offensively. And defensively, he's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Bucks are more than willing to share the rock. Chris Middleton says our team is so unselfish if anybody has it going, that ball goes to them. Some games it's me, some games it's Giannis, some games it's Drew. We all have a great feel about it. Who has the best matchup and who can create the best look? Kevin? And David, they're fun to watch. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Just five on the clock. Six feet out. Not gonna go that time. Excellent D there from Allen. Bucks leading by four. Middleton outside. Kicks it out to Allen. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got his third assist on the night. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Allen defending. Here's Reeves. He's got five. Fires for three. Allen with the rebound. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break. Ford is a screen on Russell. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. Shoots from the right block. Giannis, tough shot. Regardless of what the defense does, he gets it. You know, sometimes the defense is willing to concede to Antetokounmpo, but that time they didn't, and he still knocked it down. And a wide open look for Hachimura. Hits the three-point bomb. Hachimura's got six points. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee.
Russell. This last month, he has been a real positive for this team. 12th and three-point field goal percentage, and he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And no one's been able to guard him out there. Defender's been trying to get physical with him, but, but time and time again, he just shrugs him off and drills it. The pass to Andre Kumbo. Jacks up a three. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Russell. Back to James. Lakers working the ball around now. And they double up Davis. Fires from the wing. Davis on the follow. And now it's just a four-point Bucks lead. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. Hachimura against Giannis. Spins. Down low. The kick out to Holiday. Runs it to Kumbo. That's a two-pointer. And again, the Bucks miss. Lakers trail by four. Outside, James. And the pass to Hachimura. He dishes it to Russell. Hachimura, the pass to James. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Out to Russell. Fires the three. And another three for the Lakers. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops. Scored some buckets after that. And now we've got ourselves a ball game. Middleton can't get it to go. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Hachimura. Outside Russell for the lead. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Timeout called the Bucks. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. I mean, he's getting to the rack all game. And if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. change here. Vincent's checked in. Here's a look at which players have been the most adept at finding and hitting high percentage shots since the All-Star break. Anthony Davis, number one. His touch around the bucket has been outstanding. I mean, he has missed very few of the good looks he's got. Milwaukee with the ball. Portis finds Middleton. Back to Portis. And here's Middleton. Six points for him. Six on the shot clock. 
outside Portis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Portis has got his second bucket tonight. Hey, I think every team wants a guy like Bobby Portis. I mean, more than capable from deep. He's able to play the four and five and gives you good effort at both ends. Davis with a screen on Hubbard. Russell kicks to Hachimura. Trying to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. Middleton dishes to Giannis. Portis a screen on Hachimura. Here's Giannis. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. Loads it up for Davis. A great competitive game Davis. so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Milwaukee's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Portis sets the pick for out of the Kumbo. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Rui Hachimura picks one up. You know, no opponent is willing to give onto the Kumpo an easy look. I mean, they want to make it hard on him, and he's going to get bodied up, and he's learned to accept that. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And also, they are working the opposition from the mid-range, continuing to fire away with confidence from there. free throw is good. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Milwaukee. one misses they should be in front right now but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there and now the NBA's all-time leading scorer Clark LeBron did something most people thought would never be done I'm in that camp Greg I tell you Kareem was my guy he was my idol as I was growing up I never thought his record would be surpassed it just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production in preparation and taking care of his body and this guy is still going strong that makes him the king and they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead but their rebound advantage is starting to add up yes yeah, still close but with their tough play on the boards we're certainly seeing the effort and it's davis missing well that's a look he has to finish and he knows it lone opportunity against Russell for three the shot by Holiday no good and so it's Davis he'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles the lead is two passes it to Vincent and down it goes jamming that one home exactly what you want from your point guard nice dime to the open teammate by Russell Milwaukee has gone two of five with the three point shot since coming out of the break pass to Middleton LeBron with the block, and he gets it back. Lakers leading by four. Davis, the pass to Russell. Loads it up for Davis, and it's slammed in by Davis. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. The Bucks shooting well, 50% from the floor. Down his high post. He's against Hashimura. Let's it go from 14. Down it goes. Nice one there from Anadokounmpo. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensive. Here's Hashimura. Trains it from beyond the arc. Hachimura's got his third bucket of the night. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Giannis up top. Up top, Portis. He's guarded by Davis. 
to the inside and stolen by LeBron. And now the fast break, LeBron with the ball. Here's Hachimura. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. Well, you got to put a body on Davis when he goes up in the air because if you don't, it's too late. Holiday against Russell. And Holiday kicks to Portis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Portis has got a pair of threes now here in the third for Milwaukee. There's 45 seconds left to play here in the third. Outside, Davis. Here's Vincent, covered by Beasley. Vincent, the pass to Russell, inside. James in the post, defended by Middleton, and that one's good by LeBron. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Holiday looking for an opening. To the middle. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Few better than Giannis completing the play. Incredible strength plus excellent agility. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he's like. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. Yeah. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. Free throw good. Giannis. Pass to James. LeBron's just too strong inside. And making it look easy. LeBron overwhelmed the defense inside. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. It's the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Here's James. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. Otto Lopez out there with Jay Crump. Oh, a big move by LeBron. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Allen passes to Crowder. Beasley outside. Trills the three-pointer. When defending Beasley, you've got to get up on him. I mean, he's lethal as a catch-and-shoot guy. On the wing, James. Defended by Crowder. There's the pass to Wood. Back to LeBron. Shot clock at six. LeBron finishes inside with authority. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Middleton can't get it to go. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Reddish kicks to LeBron. 
launches it. And another three for the Lakers. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Allen surveying the D. Beasley finds Lopez. Allen right side and stolen by James. And here's the break. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Milwaukee. On Thursday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Saturday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And that game against Memphis. It's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. The Lakers That's making great. a switch here. Russell's checked in. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Russell is screen on Middleton. Prince against Middleton. Back to Russell. James outside. Shoots over Crowder. LeBron playing like a big man inside. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Middleton. And again, unable to change momentum here. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Down low. Here's Prince. And he can't bank that one in. Bucks trail by 13. Crowder inside. Working on Prince. Shot by Crowder, no good. And so it's Prince with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. This is the most they've led by 13 points. James, the pass to Prince. The three-pointer, no good. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First personal. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Jake Crowder. Shooting two. That one is off. A different look for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Antetokounmpo comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Holiday in for Beasley. Good on the second free throw. Lakers leading by 12. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. James against Giannis. Passes it to Vincent. Five on the clock. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Bucks have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. There's the three. Out to the Kumbo, stretching the four with the three. Another night we see Giannis at his best. This defense doesn't have a clue as to how to guard it. Los Angeles calls timeout.
The Bucks making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. Radish, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, was able to listen in on Darvin Ham and his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. Here's LeBron. And the rejection by Giannis! Outside Holiday. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Prince has got his fourth rebound in this one. Feeds it to LeBron. Here's Russell with the three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Holiday with it. Allen outside. Pass to onto the Kumbo. And the double up onto the Kumbo. For three, Beasley. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Beasley's got six in the quarter. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the other. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Prince setting a pick for Reddish. Kicks it out to Prince. Five to shoot. Fires from deep. Reddish's shot is good. Reddish has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Outside Portis. Here's the three. Lakers with the rebound. Wood's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Prince. And that dunk by Prince. Prince, a really solid athlete, throwing it down nicely there. Holiday, the pass to Andacumbo. The Bucks working the ball around. Allen outside. Outside Holiday. Fires for three, and there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That is his first foul of the game. And, and we've seen them come out and be much more active defensively this half. And that's a block right there. He swatched that ball away with some energy. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The Bucks making a switch here. Middleton's checked in. The Lakers also making some changes. Anthony Davis is checked in for Christian Wood. Hachimura comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Austin Reeves in for Cameron Reddish. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. Shooting for Los Angeles. D'Angelo Russell at the line for two. And the first one drops. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. And so Russell hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. To Middleton. There's the lob at the Kumbo. It's stolen by Davis. The pass to Reeves. To the paint. Here's Russell. Here's Davis. Great D that time from Portis. Bucks trail by 13. Giannis outside. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Good. And the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got his fifth assist in this one. Russell kicks to Davis. Pass to LeBron. Game slams it in. Great feed from Davis. A big guy with nice vision. Bucks have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. We're of nine. And now 
Holiday has it in the corner. This one for three. Nailed from three-point land. Holiday's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Milwaukee. And the Lakers call time here. And clearly, he's in a lot of pain. They, they call time, and the trainer's going to get a chance to go out and check him over. Davis, the pass to Hachimura. Pass to Reeves. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Davis, again, Los Angeles. Anthony Davis. I know Davis would prefer to get it inside, but he's making the most of his mid-range chance. On the Dekumbo against Hachimura. Two minutes remaining in the game. Now, here's Portis. D right on him. Portis is screen on Russell. Rocket six. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles is cut to just nine points on the basket from Holiday. You know, the athleticism of Holiday and his size ensures that even inside, he's an effective scorer. The putback. Cole LeBron getting forceful on the putback. Tremendous hustle, working hard for that bucket. Timeout called the Bucks. They're behind by 11. 137 left in the fourth quarter. You know what time it is, Bucks fans. Give it up for your forward and four
137 left in the game. Here's Hansa Takumbo. The strength, yes. the might, Giannis. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. Pass to Hachimura. LeBron outside, from deep. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got rebound number five here tonight. A 15-footer. Middleton can't get it to go. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. The pass to Reeves. Davis with a screen on Allen. Reeves the pass to Davis. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces. As it appears, it'll be a nice win here for the Lakers. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And in the win-loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. Yeah, you know, I thought the result might be a little different this time around, but clearly I was mistaken. Now they'll have to wait till next year for a shot at revenge. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for LeBron. Boy, from a scoring standpoint, yeah, he was absolutely sensational. Made the game look easy tonight. Here's James. Solid LeBron shot from the distance James. of about 14 feet. James has got 36. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, it might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Allen. Portis sets the pick for Allen. Takes it inside. And stolen by LeBron. Now Russell. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. LeBron, when you know AD is behind you, how does that help you defensively? You can stay home. You can allow him to play one-on-one -on -one versus a guard versus a big, and you can stay home and be able to box out and get rebounds because he's that good. It's quite a one-two punch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.